Ambuja Institute of Ayurvedic Research and Documentation is engaged with uh, uh, a big farming group at uh, the Himachal Pradesh, especially in the Greater Himalayas. Uh, that is a Roru. Uh, Rodu is a uh, local language. In English we say it is a Roru. So nearly uh, 1,500 farmers are there in that group. We do cultivation uh, of uh, many species, which something, some plants they were traditionally cultivating. And um, some plants which we are, uh, I have introduced uh, uh, for my uh, practice. And uh, the, the traditional cultivations were uh, nearly three and a half years back, uh, when they have got introduced with me, they were very familiar with the cultivation of uh, uh, Salsuria costas, that is Kushta in Sanskrit, Kottam in Malayalam. And second thing is Manu, that is Inula Rasamosa, Pushkaramola, and Katuki, Kutki in Hindi, that is Pikrovaisa Kurova. So, Salsuria costas, and Inula Rasamosa, and the Pikrovaisa Kurova are the three species they were traditionally been cultivated. And because of uh, the problem with the buyback uh, systems, they were a bit uh, disappointed when I went there nearly three years back. And then I just uh, gave energy for them to cultivate it in their fields, which they were doing in their uh, farms. Uh, and the interesting part is, you know, they were um, cultivating a little bit in every nearly 1,500 family. They were cultivating it uh, in a small, small plots. So everybody is uh, collectively doing and we are, uh, um, it, it, finally it becomes a very big resource of all these uh, uh, herbs. And I have introduced the uh, rubia cordifolia. There is uh, manjista in uh, Sanskrit. And uh, <clears throat> next is uh, um, Barbaris aristata, which is uh, Maramanyal, that is uh, in Malayalam, um, Daru Haridra in Sanskrit. So Barbaris aristata and uh, <clears throat> Ruby Cordifolia. So Devadaru, uh, we had uh, also uh, planted there as a conservation project. Again, the <clears throat> sustainable harvesting we were doing because Daru Haridra needed a long time to harvest it. Nearly 20-25 years, we need to get a hard stem. Uh, that is the Daru Haridra or Barbaris aristata. So that we are doing um, as a sustainable harvesting uh, from the uh, plants which are there on their farm. They have done it uh, as a fencing of the farms. It has called big thorns. So they were traditionally being cultivated it as a fence. So luckily, yeah, it is the these plants had life nearly uh, more than 20 or 30 years. So these plants we have been used to, to take the sustainable harvesting as stem cuts, not from the main stem. And again, uh, ruby cordifolia, I have introduced, uh, it is also growing very well. The mature stem with the roots are the part being used. It's also very successful in farming there. <clears throat> So uh, again, uh, equivalent of heterophyllum, I have introduced it there. That is Ativisha in Sanskrit, Atividayam in Malayalam. It's also very, very important and critically endangering. One of the, um, the Himalayan drugs, uh, very expensive. It uh, ranges uh, nearly some thousands of rupees, th more than 10,000 rupees per kg. So great demand also in the market. So uh, um, equivalent of heterophyllum and Barbaris aristata, this kind of sustainable harvesting, and uh, ruby cordifolia, ruby cordifolia and acquainted for acquainted by heterophyllia have selected for again uh, as introduced by me to the soil source of growing very well and we have taken one harvest recently and uh, <coughs> here the thing is uh, the <coughs> acquainted ferox is another very preciously uh, found Himalayan uh, mm. plant which is being adulterated much uh, in the trade so, acronym ferox is very poisonous, uh, <clears throat> is also being uh, cultivated uh, in a s small fields because it is, uh, uh, as it is very poisonous, even people, they fear to even to touch the plant and it's highly medicinal. Yeah, and again, uh, if I say about the usage of these uh, medicines, uh, the <clears throat> traditionally, have, traditionally uh, cultivating uh, Sauceria costas, it is very effective in uh, many uh, diseases regarding infections and uh, especially complications of diabetes, again in nephropathy. 
are one of the important and critical ingredients in many classical formulations. Uh, Sosari costus. Picurosa corova is a um, um, highly medicinal, we are using abundantly for liver diseases. One of the major ingredients in uh, classical formulations, uh, Picurosa corova, that is kutki. So, um, again, in jaundice, beta hemolytic jaundice, again, uh, um, hepatic dysfunction diseases like uh, cirrhosis, etc., this kutki, Picurosa corova, is abundantly being used. Manu, that is Immuna racemosa, it is a plant um, they were traditionally cultivating and I have been just gave energy to uh, cultivate a bit, bit more in the resources. So the Immuna racemosa is very effective in asthma, respiratory infections, respiratory diseases and one of the important ingredients for uh, interstitial lung diseases. Where, so it is also very uh, important for the for a practitioner, Immuna racemosa. So, <coughs> Um, in other words, also is uh, uh, a very important ingredient for in the classical formulation used for uh, <coughs> uh, asthma, cardiac asthma, again interstitial lung disease, which is very critical in nature. Next is uh, <coughs> uh, adivadayam or uh, ativisha, acronym heterophyllum, uh, all kinds of fever and viral infections especially pancreatic uh, carcinoma, one of the major ingredients, important ingredient, which is critically adulterating um, uh, using in the classical formulations. So, uh, co collectively, these are the uh, major uh, Himalayan species which we are cultivating in the Himalayan Pradesh in Rodu or Roru. Finally, uh, some species I had introduced uh, uh, just for a test whether it can be grown there or not, like uh, Kandagari, that is, uh, that is Solanum Sarat and Solanum Sandokarpum. I have found, industrially, I have found Solanum Sandokarpum is very well growing in that flora. So we have just introduced the Solanum Sandokarpum also uh, among the farmers to cultivate. And if the, interestingly, the root is a part used in the Solanum Sandokarpum. The root is very important for the chronic cough, which is, uh, which is not being substituted by any other system of medicine is a um, chronic cough this is one of the important ingredients in the classical formulation. Kandakari is the Sanskrit name, Solanum Santokarpum is the botanical name. A again, uh, I have found uh, that is Padimuga, Padimuga in uh, Malayalam, Padmaga in Sanskrit, Pronus Sarasoides. That is Padimuga is the original Padimuga, which is the Pronus Sarasoides in Sanskrit, Padmaga. The, if you observe the flower, uh, it Padmaka, it uh, appears like a lotus color, appears like lo lotus flower. And many other synonyms of um, ascribed for Padmaka in classical Ayurveda, Nikandus, are exactly coining with the same plant for Pronosarasoids. So, Padmaka is uh, again uh, an important medicine for skin diseases. And uh, in South India, and also um, almost anywhere in India also, even in academy, uh, Sasalpinia Sappan, is another variety um, suggested to use instead of uh, um, this pronus arasoids. Regarding my experience, clinical experience, clinical experience, uh, the pronus arasoids is the only one genuine resource which we can use for skin diseases, chronic skin diseases, uh, other than psoriasis, any infectious skin diseases, etc., like ectopic dermatitis, etc. So, uh, pronus arasoids are also, uh, we are just planted. Uh, among the farm, uh, you know, among the farmers uh, for uh, again sustainable for uh, doing a sustainable harvesting. Uh, so the tree won't be affected. Say shrub actually grows maximum up to uh, maximum up to 70 to 20 feet in that flora, uh, with full of flower in the b b blossom season. Very beautiful in that entire area. It will look like uh, purple or rose or rose color. So, uh, same plant we have planted in the farms of the, um, these uh, 1,500 families and uh, maybe we have not started to harvest it uh, some couple of months back when we have planted it. Maybe in another 7-8 months we will be able to um, uh, do the stem harvesting. Stem, the, actually the wood is a part to be used. So, Patmaka or uh, uh, Prunus or original variety, Sassalipinus sapan 
Sesalpin is happen is an adder trend, not even a substitute according to my clinical experience. Sesalpin is happen gives this fabric coloring. It was being used in ancient India for fabric coloring. So we cannot use, we should not use according to we should not, should not use if in any herbal formulations. So best and only one uh, resource of um, this one, Patmaka is Purnasara soils only. So Himachal, it is a great uh, resource of many, many medicinal plants. Again, uh, now we are in a handing of uh, creating resource of Ashtavargam there. So eight uh, medicinal precious herbs, the older herbs, we are planning to uh, cultivate among the farmers. The Satam is just started since two months. So now that uh, our vision is come, going to fulfill in another one month. Uh, the harvesting period of this Ashtavarga needs nearly two, two and a half years. That's also we are planning to put uh, as an as a indra crop between organic uh, cultivation of potatoes. So this is a collective information regarding uh, the cultivation among 1,500 human resources in Rodu or Roru in the Great Himalayas. So uh, that's all uh, about the Himalayan uh, attempt of uh, um, the Himachal Pradesh. Thank you. Thank you so much.